Brian Kenny with Tom Verducci, Joe McGrain, and Ben Lindbergh of The Ringer. Tom, good enough to uh, come up with some New Year's resolutions, and you have some ideas. I'm ready to just, like, rubber stamp them and put them in. All right, let's take a look at some of them yeah. here. First of all, softer and tackier bases and tackier baseballs. And you just watch Bryce Harper sliding over first. Exactly. Makes sense. Uh, 25-man rosters in September where you set per series, switch interleague rules. That's the DH and the NL, no DH and the AL. Explain everything for the umpires, and everything is reviewable. I don't know. I'm down with all of them, Tom. Yeah, I, of good. course, I didn't even mention the fact that we need a pitch clock and a limit on timeouts. Because we know this. Yeah, we know If you watch that. this show, you know this already. <laughs> yes, okay. Um, all right, the tackier base Baseball, quickly. I, I've heard Buck Showalter mention this many times. It's in Japan? Yeah, the Japanese baseball, actually, it's wrapped in foil. You take it right out of the foil, and it goes right in the game. It does not have to be rubbed up. Mm. We're still rubbing up balls with, with mud from New Jersey, the Delaware River, that, as we've done for 80 years. Mm. I think technology has improved a little bit in the last 80 years. Yeah. And the Japanese baseball is one that, again, it's a tackier feel to it, so it doesn't even need to be re rubbed up. And the World Series was a joke. Everybody is complaining, not everybody, most of the pitchers complaining how slick the balls were. Yeah. Maybe they were rubbed up the wrong way. Take out the whole mud part of the equation. Mm -hmm. Just have a better leather. And attack your bases, yes. I've seen too many players not just slip on bases, but bust up thumbs. Mike Trout, Bryce Harper have done yeah. that, sliding into bases. They're too hard. Fans would be amazed if they actually picked up these bases. They're like bricks. Well, that's all I want to ask. Joe, Joe McGrain, like, who's against changing, like, the bases? Like, that's... That's easy, right? Like, who's against uh, that? Maybe the fact that uh, baseball might be because, uh, you know, the, uh, everything's taken out and sold as game-used material where you see those little um, placards on each on side, side of the bases. Yeah. And, and, and from, from that standpoint, I'm all for exploring the idea of uh, tackier baseballs. Uh, I think they should just put a pine tar rag uh, right behind the, the mound to get a better grip on the ball until they get to, to that standpoint. And that's been one of the biggest challenges, as we've talked about before, when – uh, pitchers come over from Asia is getting used to the new baseball based on how their pitches were thrown with the other ball. So there's there they have to make a huge adjustment period. I'll pick another one here, and then Ben, you can jump in. Mm -hmm. But I, I like everything is reviewable. Like I, I think we're are we at a point? Let me ask you. Are we at a point where ever, just when something happens and yeah, I'd like to take another look at that. Are we ready now just to take that step and say, let's take a look at everything that could happen out there? I think so. I mean, there are certain plays that I might like to see us take a step back on replay when it comes to certain tag plays, for instance, where you get mm -hmm. those technicality tags where a guy's momentum takes him off the base for a split second. I think we could come up with some kind of carve out for those. But in general, yeah, I mean, we've got cameras everywhere in HD and 4K. I think we can say that replay extends to just about everything now. Where have you seen, Tom, that that you're saying, no, you're watching games. Well, for instance, that yeah. You can't review a, a fair or foul between home plate and the first or third base down the line. The argument MLB makes is that not every stadium has a camera going directly down the line. Right. So it's an unequal application of the replay system because some parks might have it and others don't. Well, if we have a view of it, let's use it, right. whether it's in right. all 30 parks or not. That's it's just in that one game. example. Right. It's so like for that game for both home, teams. You realize, wait, right. they got that call wrong, but they're not allowed to change the call. <laughs> because, because in some other yeah. city, they it's don't have crazy. it. crazy. But I we have, have it camera. here. Yeah. I'm with that. All right, what stands out to you among those? I like the, the tacky balls because, you know, we have this system now. It's sort of silly where we have the foreign substances and you're not allowed to put anything on the ball except right. every single guy does. And every now and then, a pitcher will be a little less judicious with where he puts it and it'll be obvious that it's on his forearm or it's on the bill of his cap and you know everyone will play twitter detective and oh what's that on his cap and right. you know we know everyone's doing this so let's maybe take away the need to do it that would be I th you know i thought for uh, for the purposes of the the integrity of the races and everything uh, i really like the idea and have have for quite some time is just having uh, tom had mentioned rolling 25 man rosters in september i, I love bruce bochy but i don't want to see you know <laughs> important games decided by a cavalcade of relievers that are up for september yeah. you don't want to have 40 guys making decisions in in you know some of these incredibly important games uh, the last couple of weeks of the season. Uh, to put your set your roster at 25 before the game, change it the next game based on what your needs are. Oh, you're are. saying for that a series, you need, though. 
Yeah, I'd say yeah. So yeah. otherwise, yeah. It, then you, you'll get back to being no, the machinations. Are you saying the same for the series or for yeah. the for – Yeah, the, for a series. That way, you, the, your opposing team can actually prepare for the team right. they're about right. to face instead of each day. It's, it's a completely yeah. different – But, but there's could... still actually some strategy involved in, in doing that as well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Another yeah. idea from Japan we could borrow because they have, I think, 28-man rosters, but you have to designate 25 so you can – you know, guy starts, he's That's inactive yep. the next day, so – uh, here Now, this is a, a particular bit of genius on your part. Uh, explain the DH in the National League parks, no DH in the American League parks. Right. I actually thought of this when David Ortiz was playing, and they're playing in Philadelphia. You're a Phillies fan. National League baseball is all you see. The, the Red Sox come to town, and David Ortiz might not play because there's no DH. Why not showcase the other style of baseball? If you're in Boston, you're watching American League baseball all year. Why not watch National League baseball? Right. See what the strategy is Now you got to deal like. with the pitcher and everything. The whole yeah. idea oh, of the interleague play is to freshen things up, give people a different look. Well, it's actually the same rules that you're seeing all year long. It's a different team. I'd rather give people a different version of baseball. I think that's great. Can we do that, Joe? Can Why roll, not? Can you roll that in? Yes, <laughs> as, long, as long as the, the DH does not become, uh, you know, universal whole hog. Exactly. No, yeah, we don't want you. that. In yeah. fact, I like it the other way. But I like, no, you switch it up so the team is saying, no, now you see something you don't see on a regular basis, and it's not every single week. Good stuff.